Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Pixie, the custom doll artist. So it happens that from time to time I receive portrait doll commissions from my customers. Today's video will be exactly about such dolls. Today heroine's name is Cole and I will make a doll of her. For me, these kinds of dolls are always the more complex ones. So I rarely take such commissions. And what is so complex about them, would you ask? And I will tell you that the answer is in the name. It is a portrait, but made on the doll. A portrait is a painting, photo, sculpture or other artistic representation of a person, in which the face and its expressions are predominant. The intent is to display the likeness, personality and even the mood of the person. So it means that a doll should be similar to an original, to a real person. And it is always about additional stress, because those who try to make a portrait doll all simply try to draw a portrait known that it is not the simplest task. Each doll artist has their strong and weak sides, and from time to time I agree to test myself with such orders. And in today's video I want to tell you more about how to make the process of creating portrait dolls a bit easier. Tell you how to make it more accurate to the real person you choose to depict. It is not a secret that many of you may have wondered how you would look like a doll or give someone darling to you a doll version of them. So those few tricks may help you with that. So what can help you to create a nice portrait doll? I have a few tips that I used myself before and during the process of creating such a doll. The first and most important in my opinion, research your subject. Before diving into the crafting process, take some time to study your subject. Look at photos from different angles and observe unique features such as facial structures, proportions and expressions. Also, it will allow you to make an outfit in greater details. Maybe get references for specific attire pieces or a couple of pictures with views from different angles. Understanding these details will serve as your roadmap for creating an accurate portrait. In the second one, use high-quality reference materials. Ensure that the photos you use for reference are clear, well-lit and high-resolution. This will help you capture finer details accurately and avoid any guesswork during the painting process. The third, start with solid doll base. Choose a doll that closely matches the proportions of your subject. This will provide a strong foundation to build upon and make the likeness more recognizable from the start. So it is important what doll you will choose and the result of your work will directly correlate with that. The fourth, focus on facial features. Pay close attention to the eyes, nose, mouth, key elements that define person's face. Paint these features with precision, using delicate tools to capture subtle nuances such as the shape of the lips or the curve of the eyebrows. Maybe person has a significant facial feature such as freckles or scars. Painting those will add to the resemblance of your doll. And the fifth, work in layers. Approach the creation of your portrait doll in layers, starting with the basic shape and gradually adding more details. This method allows you to refine each feature progressively, ensuring greater accuracy in the final result. Also, it will seal the progress if you will make a mistake. The sixth, don't forget about the hair and accessories. Hairstyle, color and accessories can play a significant role in capturing someone's likeness. Take the time to carefully craft these elements, whether it's styling hair or adding tiny accessories that reflect the subject's personality. Those small details can be a major accent on your doll. The seventh, pay attention to the skin tone and texture. Achieving realistic skin tone and texture is crucial for the lifelike portrait doll. Experiment with different painting techniques and colors to match the subject's complexion. And add subtle details such as wrinkles to enhance authenticity. I usually try to pick dolls with matching skin tones from the start, since repainting doll fully is troublesome in many ways. In my opinion, there is no 100% guarantee for such dolls that the paint will stay in the place for long and won't chip off. Sealants and methods for such processes are still not perfect. The eighth, embrace imperfections. Remember that imperfections are what makes us unique. Don't be afraid to incorporate subtle flaws or asymmetry into your doll's features as these nuances contribute to its character and resemblance to the subject. If you will look in the mirror or photos and cover one half of the face and then another, you will see that both halves are barely symmetrical. The ninth, take your time. Creating an accurate portrait doll is a labor of love and requires patience and attention to detail. 
Take your time at each stage of the process and don't rush to the final touches. The extra effort will be reflected in the quality of your finished creation. The tenth. Seek feedback and make adjustments. Once your portrait doll is complete or still in the process, don't hesitate to seek feedback from others, especially those familiar with the subject. Use their input to make any necessary adjustments or refinements, ensuring that your doll truly captures the spirit of the person it represents. Also, I think a few bonus tips can be useful overall if you decide to dive into custom doll making. Experiment with different materials. Don't be afraid to explore a variety of materials and techniques in your doll making process. From epoxy clay and resin to fabric and yarn, each material offers unique advantages for capturing different aspects of your subject's likeness. Experimenting with different mediums can also help you discover new techniques and achieve even greater realism in your creations. Getting inspiration from professional doll artists? Looking on professional doll artists can provide valuable insights for your creations. Take the time to study the work of skillful doll artists and observe how they capture the essence of their dolls. You may find new ideas and approaches that can inspire you. You can go even further and try advanced techniques such as face and body modifications. Creating an accurate portrait doll is both challenging and rewarding. It requires dedication, skill and creativity. And I want to embrace your creative process. Stay patient and most importantly have fun bringing your dolls to life. And this is it for this doll and this video. Stay with me for a little bit more and you will see a final result. I hope you enjoyed today's video and having fun listening and watching it. And I just want to take a moment to say thank you to my customer who ordered this doll for herself. Your support means everything to me. Thank you. And many thanks to you, my viewers. Hope to see you soon in my next videos. Have a wonderful and bright day. Bye!
Different this time. 